guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing one of the Oscars makeup looks and it's one of my favourite of the night. And it's the makeup of Brie Larson who walked away with the Oscar for Best Actress. This is obviously not a real Oscar. I think you know that already. The hair is not a replica, I know, but I'm rubbish with hair, absolute crap with hair. So I just kind of tied it back and yeah, it's a mess, but. Hey ho, I just can't do my own hair. <laughs> I need my own hairstylist. Her makeup artist is the beautiful and talented Rachel Goodwin. Definitely go check her out on Instagram. Rachel did her makeup look for um, the Oscars red carpet and it looked really nice. So this is the tutorial that I've done to replica the look. I hope you like it. Keep watching to see how I did it. I already went ahead and used foundation. So I'm now using NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer for the beautiful high under eye highlight. So I take that highlight down in a sharp V shape and up to the outer corner eye like so. And gently blending that in. You'll have to excuse my croaky voice. I'm just getting over pneumonia and tonsillitis which started just after I finished filming that video. Not that I think the two are interlinked at all but yeah, you'll have to excuse my horrible voice. I know it sounds terrible. Sorry about it. Then for a subtle cheek bronze I'm using Max Melba through my cheekbone and up to my temples. Next I'm taking Illamasqua's cream blush in the Cushade Lies and with my finger dabbing it on the high points of my cheekbones for an ever so slight hint of blush. For the eyes I'm taking salted caramel from my Too Faced chocolate bar palette and placing that all over the eyelid. There's not much colour on Brie's lids. Her eyes are kept very natural just with a pop of dark blue liner in the outer corners of the lids for which I'm using Max Petrol Blue. Just place that thinly on the top lid, outer corners, and use a detailer brush to blend. Then I go back in with the salty caramel to make sure the liner is so softly blended. Then with a pointed brush I take white chocolate to highlight the inner corners of the eye. For mascara I used a lick of YSL's shocking black mascara on the top and bottom lashes. And to finish the eyes, I use Isla's number 100 volume lashes, which are so bomb. I use M Cosmetics brow liner for my eyebrows, using feathered strokes to create a defined arched brow, very much like um, Bree's look. Then I take Champagne Truffle to highlight under the arc of the brow. Take that brow pencil again and dot a tiny false beauty spot right where Breeze is. But this isn't a step you have to take. Then for the lips, I first use Matte's Prep and Prime on the lips for moisture and then use Anastasia's liquid lipstick in the shade Sugar Plum to match Brie's Gorge Berry lip look. I then pin my Princess Leia hair gone wrong the back as it's looking cray cray. Not cute hunty. And for a final step, I use a clear lip gloss and dab a small amount on the middle, bottom and top lip. the 
finished look. Um, I hope you like this replica um, tutorial of her makeup, Brie Larson's makeup. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. <coughs> Slowly dying. I'm gonna have to get going very soon because I think it's my throat is literally dying on me. Um, <laughs> but I wanted to make this video because um, I love the Oscars, absolutely love the Oscars and I love watching the red carpet and seeing how everybody is dressed and what makeup look they're going for and I thought everyone hit the nail on the head last night, like there were so many really beautiful looks but Brie Larson just stood out for me, she was one of the three that stood out. This is the Brie Larson look, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, definitely make sure to leave your comments down below, subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up and I shall see you again in my next video. Thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you again soon. Lots of love. Bye!